In this video, we will apply the loads and boundary conditions on the chassis model for three different cases and then look at the resulting stress and deformation contours. The first crash simulation is the rollover test. The chances of the car rolling over are high when it encounters any hills or valleys. To simulate this, an impact force is uniformly applied on the top members, and the bottom members are fixed. Go to the New Analysis tab, insert a static structural system. Rename it Rollover Test. The force will be applied to the top members, and the bottom vertices are fixed. Right-click on the Rollover tab and insert force. Click on the Line Selection feature and select all the top members of the chassis, and click Apply. Defined by components, with minus 9625 Newton in the Y direction. Insert fixed supports. Select the Vertex Selection feature, and click on the following vertices. Go to Solutions tab, and change Beam Selection Results to Yes. Right-click on the Solution tab and insert Total Deformation and Von Mises Stress Contours and Solve. The Total Deformation Contour shows the displacement of each member. Animate the results to visualize the displacements. The equivalent stress contours showcase a maximum stress of 238 MPa. In the rear impact analysis, the vehicle is stationary at the front, while another vehicle rams the stationary vehicle from behind. Go to the New Analysis tab, insert a static structural system. Rename it Rear Impact Test. The force will be applied to the rear members, and the front vertices are fixed. Right-click on the Rear Impact Test and insert Force. Click on the Line Selection feature, and select all the rear members. Defined by Components, with minus 13,750 Newton in the Z direction. Insert fixed support from the menu. Then click on the vertex selection feature and select the following vertices. Go to Solutions tab and change Beam Selection Results to Yes. Right click on the Solution tab and insert Total Deformation and Von Mises Stress Contours. Like before, analyze the displacement and stress contours in this case. The equivalent stress contour shows a maximum value of 338 MPa. The torsion test simulates a case of alternating bumps on left and right wheels. Considering, the left wheel is having upward travel and right wheel is having downward travel. The couple tries to produce the torsional stress in the frame. Go to the New Analysis tab, insert a static structural system. Rename it to Torsion Test.
equal forces in opposite direction will be applied on the front suspension points, and the rear members are simply supported. Right click on the torsion test, and insert a force. Select the left side suspension mounting point, and apply. Defined by components, with 6875 Newton in the Y direction. In the same manner, add opposite force to the right hand side. Insert simply supported, and select four vertices at the rear of the chassis. Go to Solutions tab, and change Beam Selection Results to Yes. Right-click on the Solution tab and insert Total Deformation and Von Mises Stress Contours. Solve the model. The Total Deformation Contour shows the displacement of each member. Animate the results to visualize the displacements. The maximum stress value is at the rear bulkhead of the frame. This concludes the demonstration for analyzing the chassis in different loading cases. Thanks for watching.